business environment. Joining me now is Sandy Villery, partner and portfolio manager at Villery & Company. It's good to see you again, Sandy. Welcome. Yeah, thank you, Kelly. So this, are you playing, let's, let's call it um, kind of desperation offense here, kind of an onside kick, let's scramble and hope we can recover and, 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 and kind of come back before the game ends? Or do you truly think uh, that people who are bulls have a decent shot at a, at a decent rally here? Well, interesting. I'm a Saints fan, so in the Super Bowl, we saw one of the better onside kicks in history. So uh, I don't know if I'd go with that. But basically, uh, you know, we're in that seasonally strong period for the market. You know, that kind of runs November through May. Uh, last year was really tough for growth stocks, over down over 30 percent. Value was down only two or three percent. So everybody was hiding in large cap dividend value stocks. We just think you ought to be fishing in the growth pond. And, uh, you know, basically last year, the market really discounted uh, the future rate hikes as, as NASDAQ and tech stocks tend to, you know, move inversely to rate hikes. And I think that was, uh, you know, that, that, that showed up. I mean, eight, eight hikes later, uh, here we are. And so I think you know, the market's an amazing discounting mechanism. And now it's, it's sort of telling you, based on what the 10-year Treasury's doing, going down from four and a quarter to roughly a 365 or wherever we are today, that rates are going lower long, over the long run. So we feel optimistic that we can buy growth stocks and, uh, and and try to find some some discounted names. Yeah, and also you think, as you were saying, but that value is a crowded trade now, that people should go back and maybe look at, at kind of growth and technology. Um, you, know, you focus more on the small cap side of things, but I mean, would you extend that to, to mega cap te tech, theoretically speaking? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's going to be one of these years that's, uh, that active managers are going to do quite well. I mean, you can see the difference between Microsoft and, and Alphabet uh, I, I think it matters. We're looking at different, you know, earnings that are coming out. Chipotle not so good. Uber very good. Um, and so I think uh, people have really got to, you know, peel back the onion and, and really focus on picking individual stocks. But I do think, in general, um, growth should outperform uh, value. You know, in 2023, which we've seen already this year, up yeah. about you know, 14 percent versus, you know, up about three percent. It makes you wonder, Dom, and I'm glad you highlighted it, what's been going on with the insurance companies. Sure. What an amazing trade, all time highs. You know, that that was your hot ticket. But are, are these conditions about to reverse? Uh, so, so that's the big key right now is, is that to Sandy's point, we've already seen a huge amount of outperformance in those growth names, the ones that got shuttered back basically back in 2012 or 2022. If you take a look at the reasons why, there's a muscle memory factor possibly at play here. For the better part of 10 to 12 years now, arguably, since the post-great financial crisis, there's been this kind of reaction to want to go and buy mega cap, large cap technology exactly. and media type, telecom type stocks. And, and so what you're seeing right now is this kind of maybe falling back. I'm not going to call them bad habits or good habits. They're just habits. <laughs> People have just been doing it for so long. I mean, Tesla. You see a relapse. <laughs> you, you do, but Tesla shares are up like 13 out of the last 14 days. I mean, it's, it's a pretty big momentum trade right now. So if it were to keep going, it would need more fuel, fundamentally speaking. For in it to in other going. words, real quick, Sandy, because I want to get over to Rick here in a second. But do mm -hmm. you think the growth has already had its big kind of snapback uh, rally here to Dom's point? I, I think a lot of those mega, mega cap uh, growth names certainly have. And, and when you look at the valuation some, on some things, uh, it sort of reminds me of the nifty 50 stocks, you know, back in the 70s, where you could have Amazon continue to have higher earnings. Uh, for example, and, and have the stocks kind of go nowhere for five, six, seven years. Hmm. That's sort of the camp I'm in, and I'd rather be in smaller mid-cap growth names that have the ability to outperform. So yeah. that's, where, that's where we are. 